Hello, so we're going to be doing a series of videos um, showing you little tricks that you can do um, to your photos using the program paint.net um, and in this one we're going to uh, be doing the lightsaber effect. Um, we're going to be doing three photos, one with an actual toy lightsaber, one where we have the person holding a sword-like object, and one where we're just going to put the lightsaber straight into the picture. So let's start with the ECS one, um, and it's pretty much the same technique in all of them. Let's start with the ECS one, the one where we actually have the toy lightsaber. What you want to do is first you add a new layer over here. Click add a new layer and it's just a transparent layer for now and you want to choose the lightsaber color this one's blue so let's go ahead and make an orange lightsaber because we already have that color selected next you use the line tool you want to draw a line and you want to select a brush size that's slightly wider than what you want the lightsaber to be um, now this photo has an incredibly high resolution if we were to set it a hundred percent right that would be a hundred percent so we're probably going to need a brush that's about how, how large no no that's too big we're gonna need a line that's maybe about a hundred let's see maybe ninety let's go with seventy five yeah that that looks about right so I'll pick a brush size 75. You might want to go with something smaller if you took your photo with like an iPhone camera or something. And let's go ahead and make the line. What you want to do is make just a straight line where you think the lightsaber, you know, the light effect should be. And next up, you want to blur. So you go to effects, blur and I like to use Gaussian Blur. Um, you can play with the radius of the blur depending on the size of the image. You might need a little bit less or a little bit more. Um, you know, so if we don't have any blur, that's just straight up line. If we add a lot of blur, then you already see a sort of lightsaber itch effect. Um, I'm gonna go with, let's see, I think probably 25 looks just about right for this one so I'm gonna stick with 25 but we're not done it is just half of the effect um, for the second half you can do one of two things um, you're going to need a smaller line so let's go with 50 for the smaller line let's see that's still a little bit too big let's go with maybe 35 it's about half all right, that seems about right and you can either do a second white line straight on top of the lightsaber effect on the same layer or if you prefer you can add a third layer and do the white line on that third layer personally I like to use the same layer and add in a little bit of extra blur to make sure that the white line Kind of mix this into whatever color we're using. So we go ahead and draw the white line, and then we can probably move it a little bit. No. Now we go ahead and draw the white line right about there. Let's move it a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and call this good enough. And now that you've done that, you blur again. What this is going to do is it's going to blur the white line into the orange and it's going to disperse the orange color a little bit more. Right? So I don't want to blur it that much in this case. Let's go with maybe 10, maybe 15. And there. And there you have a lightsaber effect. And the two things that you want to play with are basically the colors and the blur. So this is with only one layer, using one layer for both elements. Let's go ahead and do it with the third layer on top. Again, same process. We draw the line. In this case, we are not going to further blur the orange color. 
which is on the second layer we are only going to blur the white line that we just made on top of it. So effects, blur, and in this case let's just make the blur a little bit larger, maybe some 25, 30. 30. And you basically play around with those settings. All right. And there you have it, a lightsaber effect on top of a lightsaber. If you want to turn a sword-like object into a lightsaber, by the way, these photos are from uh, PR Comic Con 2013. Um, if you want to turn a sword-like object into a lightsaber, you just do the same strategy. New layer, brush size, make it something substantial. You draw the line with the intended color that you want. Let's make this one green. Starting from the short hilt on the way up. And then you go ahead and effect blur Gaussian. Let's go ahead and do 50. Yeah, because why not? And what we see that's happening here, it, it's a little bit of a, a different effect, a slightly different effect. What we see is that the sword is kind of emitting the lightsaber effect, and that's cool in itself. All right, so white line. Blur. Gaussian. And we don't want to blur it that much this time around. And there you have another lightsaber effect. And if you want to add a lightsaber to someone who doesn't have one, then you basically do the same, except that maybe you want to make the handle. So let's give this Lego man here a lightsaber. Let's set the color to gray. Let's get a big brush here to make a handle. And then, of course, you can just give it more detail if you like. You can, you know, do colors, use pictures, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. I'm going to blur the handle a little bit, because blurring makes everything better, really. Maybe not everything, but, you know. There, I'm going to call this good enough. And then you just add the lightsaber color. Let's do blue, because blue contrasts with red. Let's use a slightly smaller size in the handle. So we have the blue light beam. We blur it. Then we use a smaller brush for the white line. We blur it. And there you go. Lego man with the lightsaber. So that's the end of this video. Um, next time we'll talk about um, taking a color image and just leaving one element in color, the rest of them in black and white. So, see you then.